Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Is at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card showing up as someone who's feeling quite confused and emotionally overwhelmed. Um, this person is showing up as being unsure of how to move forward. This person may also be quite distracted. There's an energy of having a lot of options or choices in front of them and, um, you know, being sure, unsure or afraid of making the wrong choice here. So there's a need to practice discernment in this situation because even though there are a lot of options, not all of these options are good options. Okay, so... Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, Water Energy. We have the Five of Swords, Air Energy. And we have the Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so there's definitely someone here who is coming towards you with romantic intentions. Um, this could be someone who you had some sort of a fallout with. With the Five of Swords, this could be someone who betrayed you. There could have been some sort of... Um, you know, you could have been blindsided by this person at some point, and you could have actually came to view this person as a bit of a rival. Um, the Five of Swords is definitely an energy of having feeling, feeling as if you were defeated in the situation, and you could have actually bowed out of that situation. You could have chosen to walk away because the person you were dealing with was playing mind games. This person was manipulative and they were not playing fair. Um, there is an energy of um, going too far, you know, hitting below the belt, um, you know, being vindictive and malicious. And you could have um, seen this and felt as if you couldn't trust this person and you could have actually chose to remove yourself from that situation. But we are seeing it's like this person is now coming towards you with this Knights of Cups energy, which is a peace offering. It's like this person is going to use some sort of emotional uh, approach where they are showing up as romantic. They are leading with how they feel. They are expressing their feelings towards you. They're wearing their heart on their sleeve. They could even be inviting you out. They could have some sort of a gesture or a gift here. Um, with that Knight of Cups, it could even be just a peace offering with that Knight of Cups, but someone wants they want to be in your life again. This person wants a, a romantic start with you. Um, and you could have more than one person interested in you right now because we have the Seven of Cups, which is showing up as you having options. And with the Two of Pentacles, you could be um, unsure about which is which way to go. You may be a bit... Um, it's like you're going back and forth about what to do. You're trying to get, make up your mind. You're thinking about this. Um, you're trying to be careful. You could also have a lot going on in your life right now. So it's like this is coming in at a time where you are quite um, busy. Um, but I do see you being a bit on the fence about this. You, Even though this person is coming towards you saying all the charming things that you, you know, they think you want to hear, the Seven of Cups is still showing up as you being unsure about this person. You're still cautious of them you know it's, it's going to take a while for you to trust them again so let's clarify these cards um sagittarius Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the five of wands and it's in the reverse this is earth of uh, this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy so in the reverse it does show a desire to avoid conflict it is a, a desire for peace so someone really wants to make peace with you someone here is coming towards you with the intention of putting some sort of conflict behind um, there's also an energy of 
um, someone having had people in their ear, someone having had been influenced or a lot of people having been involved in the situation. It could have been that this person, um, you know, they were really caring about outside opinions, their friends, family, just people outside of the connection. There was too many people involved in the situation. Um, it can also show competition. So there could have been a, a situation where um, someone was juggling. There was just too many people involved and it ultimately led to conflict in the situation. But now it's in the reverse, which is showing up as, um, you know, someone no longer, you know, allowing the outside noise to get to them. Um, there's also, again, that energy of wanting to resolve something with you, wanting to make peace with you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Ace of Cups, Water Energy. So there's definitely offers here for you. Um, we have two offers here. So it does look like there could be more than one person coming towards you here. Um, but we do have an opportunity for a new beginning with the Ace of Cups and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Um, there's definitely someone here who, yeah, with that Ace of Pentacles, I'm, I'm seeing also something quite solid, like an apology coming from someone here. Whoever this person is who wants to make peace with you, they are wanting to, you know, say the right things here. They are wanting to own up to something, take accountability and apologize for something. Um, with the star being here, this person has been missing you. This person has been longing for you. They want some sort of renewal in love with you. Um, they, they want a, another chance, another opportunity because because this person, this could be the kind of person that you're dealing with here is the kind of person who likes to keep their options open. And um, there's something special about you. You're standing out, you know, even though they, 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 they tend to like to have options, they are recognizing that you stand out from those options. It's like, one of you makes up a million of these other options. You know, this is someone who's drawn towards you. There's something unique about you with the star card. There's something special about you. And they do want to, um, you know, renew the connection. This is someone who feels like um, it's like they regret something they did here. There's something they did that, that ruined the connection they had with you. And they are feeling the loss of you right now. This is someone who is really, um, you know, feeling your absence and trying to manifest another chance with you. Um, their feelings are getting to them. Their feelings are overpouring. They can't hold their feelings back. It's like overwhelming for this person. And they do want to start again here. There's a desire to have a beginning in love here. Um, I'm also seeing with the Ace of Cups um, an opportunity for new love for you here, someone outside of this person, because there's, a, a, again, an energy of you having choice choices to make here, having to choose between more than one offer. Um, you know, you could be choosing between an old person, a past person, and a new person, um, you know, whether you want to go back and revisit something or start something new with someone else, because there is that energy of you having many offers here, and you, um, you know, you're trying to juggle with what to do here but there's definitely newness an opportunity for a new beginning and there is someone here who's really really missing you okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius So we have believe in the impossible blue moon. Okay, so there's definitely something here about you being unique, an opportunity being unique, something that is a once in a lifetime type of opportunity. Once, you know, it's like out of the blue type of energy with the star card. I'm seeing you're being seen in this way. You're being seen as very authentic and also very um it's like you're you're not easy to replace. You're not um, easy to replicate. You're you know once in a lifetime type of person, and someone is realizing this about you. They're seeing you as you know you know almost having been a missed opportunity, but they still want to try again. Okay, so I'm gonna put another card for you, um, Sagittarius.
Okay, so we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So someone wants to come in and have this heart-to-heart -heart with you. They are leading with their feelings. There's that energy with the Knight of Cups of leading with how they feel about you, being honest about their feelings towards you, being, you know, that they want to have that heart-to-heart. -heart. They want to discuss their feelings with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Okay, so someone is seeing you as this pure, innocent, um, good-natured energy. It's like you've got a, a kind heart. So it's something that doesn't come by every day here. Um, and they, they really want that in their life. This is someone who wants to, you know, keep you. They want to restart again. They want another opportunity. However, with the seven of cups showing up here, there's again that, that message here that you should practice discernment with this person because this is someone who in the past was manipulative. They played mind games and they could have even love bombed or created an illusion you know, in the past. And this is not something that's about them. So they, they could be saying all the right things right now, but there's an energy here of, even if you do hear this person out or you give them a second chance, be careful with this person, okay? Because the Seven of Cups does advise you to really practice discernment because you've got a lot to offer this person. And, you know, there's a need here to be be careful of who you allow into your life. Okay, so I'm gonna um, pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. So we have surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. Okay, so it does look like some sort of a something you've been praying for here. It could be genuine love here or an, another opportunity to talk things out. Whatever you've been praying for, there's an energy here of your prayers being answered. Um, there's also an energy here of um is surrendering to prayer in terms of um, being led by the divine, you know, listening to um, your higher power, taking a moment to pray on this before making any decision or choice on which how you want to move forward. Because it does look like you're in a situation where discernment is necessary and, um, you know, prayer could really be helpful here because you are the star. You, you have a lot to offer and people are aware of this. So whoever you're dealing with, they know that you have a lot that you could offer them here. Yeah. So there is a need here to really listen to your intuition and your higher power. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.